you know what I'm going to say. Here we go again. The PlayStation Plus offerings for the month of May 2019 have been revealed. We'll be able to get our digital hands on them from Tuesday the 7th of May. So if you're ready, let's do this. Game number one is Overcooked, a local co-op game based around kitchen etiquette and working alongside your fellow chef. But in reality, it's a frantic cook against the clock, which will have you swearing like Gordon Ramsay in a matter of minutes. Overcooked takes teamwork to the next level, as chopping, frying, cooking, serving and even washing up must be done to such a high pace. It most definitely can become stressful, and when someone forgets to take the pan off at the right time, then the kitchen goes up in flames. Honestly, it's a great deal of fun with friends, and as couch co-op is dying, I recommend it. The controls are simple enough a four-year-old can play, but the levels become ultra hard, so you need to perfect the right approach. Another cool thing about Overcooked is that two players can simultaneously use one controller, so you don't need four controllers to play four player. Pretty cool. Overcooked won't last you a long time, but it will keep you coming back for more. Reviews average out to about 85 out of 100. Not bad at all. Are you trying it? I'd love to know your thoughts. Game number two this month is What Remains of Edith Finch, a first-person adventure game which is all about exploration and detective-style sleuthing. Arriving at the Finch house, we slowly uncover what happened to Edith and her family. The real draw to What Remains of Edith Finch is the storytelling. If you are intrigued by a missing character and invest in uncovering their story, the final payoff is great. I'd call this a game for movie and TV goers rather than the typical hardcore gamer we jump to. The game will take around 100 minutes to about two hours to complete. It's relaxing, it's not too taxing, and will leave you thinking about Edith for days afterwards. I've already said too much. What Remains of Edith Finch was praised almost universally with scores of 9 and 8 out of 10. Will you try it? Share your thoughts below. So what do you think to this month's offerings? Happy, sad, delighted, mad? <laughs> Share your thoughts below. Tell us what you think. If you've decided not to renew your PS Plus this month, you should consider the free-to-play market. Many games have PS Plus integrated in them, but others don't. One such game is World of Warships Legends. It's essentially up to nine players going to war on the seas in ships designed around their real-life counterparts. I've been working alongside Wargaming to put together a quick overview and beginner's guide to Battles on the Seven Sea. I'll link it now for some cheeky self-promotion. <laughs> You can go down the free-to-play route and earn ships as you play, or if you'd like to support the game further, different paid editions are available to speed up the grind and unlock unique ships to stand out from the crowd. I've been playing for around 25 hours and can confidently say the teams are balanced, so you won't find a team full of tier 7s fighting a team of beginner cruisers. You'll face opposition at your own level, or even choose to play against AI instead. So hey, there's a way to play free games without PS Plus, if that floats your boat. <laughs> I write my own jokes. I'm Adam from PlayStation Grenade. It's been a bloody pleasure. I'll see you next time.